to all of you out there in the internet world. Uh, I'm sitting in a car today, as you can see, um, waiting for my wife, and it's getting kind of chilly. Um, it got me thinking about what's going to occur in the next 48 hours or so in our area. If you're watching this and you live in Florida, well, lucky you, but where we live, it's going to get uh, about minus 37 with minus 50 Celsius wind chill. So what, uh, you know, we, we can dress up and, be, and stay warm, obviously. We've survived for thousands of years up here. But if you're heating your home on propane, you might run into some problems with the propane um, gelling. And it, it stops basically leaving the tank and coming into your house when it gets down to around that minus 43 Celsius range. And, and it might do it sooner than that. I've had it do, do it to me once. It was only minus 26 outside. So... Uh, I, I've done this video several years ago. I'm going to put a link to it in this video, and I hope that uh, some of you will take precautions, take my advice, because when that propane liquefies or, or gels, um, it's going to stop heating your house. And that's the absolute worst time for it to happen. So I, I hope it doesn't get to that stage, but uh, I've done this video before, like I said, one year I did it and I thought, well, it's probably not going to get to there. So I'm not going to do anything. And I found myself uh, waking up at 4.30 in the morning. House was cold. The very next morning after I put the video out and I ended up walking outside and working for a couple of hours trying to get that propane to gasify once again so I can get my heat back on. It is not fun. And if you can't do something like that on your own, then there's a good possibility that you're going to cost, it's going to cost you a fair amount of money to get a plumber to come out and do what needs to be done. So take some precautions, get some heat underneath those tanks, and hopefully it doesn't happen to you. Thanks for watching. 2020 home tips from Water Home Inspections. Today I just want to talk a little bit about uh, propane tanks. And with the weather turning, we're getting colder. You have to do two things when it comes to propane. You have to try to keep your tank pumped up. So make sure that you're at least 30% in this type of weather. And you also uh, need sometimes to put some heat underneath the tank because when the temperature drops to uh, the equivalent of minus 44, propane will gel and it refuses to come out of the line here and into your house and that'll shut your heating system down. So if you're one of the unfortunate ones that has to have propane in this natural gas economy, like I am, then you have to maintain this, this tank. Again, keep it full and uh, as full as possible in the winter months and uh, put a, a heat lamp or something under it to prevent it from gelling. You'll be glad you did.